Agent Marshall Marty, sign in. And Julie the Rabbit, bouncing in. Hey, my pro and allies, welcome to how do you delete the background on an image for a game, video game, or for really for anything. Julia is working with Python currently, so she's got a 2D platformer kind of point based system game. So let's check out her game in a second here. So, so you can see it's an awesome 2D platformer, fully functional game. So you've got a high score here of 144, which I don't think I'll ever beat that. Because, ah, uh, dang it, I keep dying here a million times. So it's point based, so you get a point once you dodge, you, once you dodge a bullet here, not once you dodge a block. And did I mention that it's dang hard too? I mean, ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm surviving. So, uh, what, what's there we've got here, Julie? Look at the bunny, and as he bounces, it looks very weird because there's that white background when he's just walk, when he is standing yeah. still. He just yeah. So basically, we, so basically, the bunny doesn't have a transparent background. So that's what that white square is. So that's what we are going to fix. It's uh, I'm gonna be playing this. I'm gonna play this game a couple more minutes because it's actually kind of fun here. So. So the first thing that we want to do to delete that appearance background is you're going to want to go on to Google and you're going to want to type in paint.net, paint.net, and then download. So from that line, typing that in, we'll get you to paint.net download. It's got the HTTPS and that S stands for security, meaning that it is in fact paint.net and it's not just a spoof of paint.net to you collect your IP. So we're going to click on that and that'll take us over. Did I not click that? Okay, there we go. So that's going to take us to paint.net and from there, select your version and i've got a windows 10 here so if you guys have oh that green is pretty hard on the eyes but it's green and i love green so that'll take us to the paint.net download page and you're going to see this link here you're going to click that and ah there we go so it's downloading right now and if you go oh those that green is really hard on the eyes then you're going to see this green paint.net free download now you're going to want to go with that sticker there and from there it'll download and then you're just going to want to follow all the instructions on it unless is this a zip file unless it's in a zip file so we're going to show you what to do if it is a zip file okay so there we go all right then you just want to put on that stuff so you can see it. then all you have to do is you're going to want to right click it and then you see extract all you're going to, want to click that and then there it will open up this and it'll just say extract Ah, there we go. And then here is the installer, so you just want to open it up, and then you'll install all the instructions from there. Basically, just say yes to everything, except for unless you don't want to donate, which is donate section. So, the screen blacks out when I have to give administrative permissions. So, it's downloading and everything. Not downloading, it's installing. So, you're going to want to go with Express, Next, I do agree, and, oh, I mean, I do, I, I do agree, I do agree, Next. And then it's going to install from there. So, I already have it in installed, so I'm just going to close out of the operation. So basically follow the rest of the instructions. So now that we have paint.net installed, we're going to want to go to our image. Then you'll want to just basically, let's zoom in a little, right click on it, and then you'll see open whip, a oh, whoops. First left click on it to select it, then you'll see this blue bar, that tells you you've got it selected. Right click, and then you'll see open with, you're going to want to open with paint.net. So if you see this big white background, what that basically means is your image is not transparent, so that whiteness is going to show up when you use the image. So in the top right hand corner, you're going to see the toolbar here. Make sure you have that selected, so not selected, selected. There we go. So once you've got it selected, you should see it right here. And then you're going to want to select the magic wand. There we go. And now that you've got the magic wand selected, all you have to do is left click on the crap that you don't want here. So all this white crap can go, and then just hit delete on the keyboard from there. Alright, so it looks like we actually deleted some of the colors inside of that, so it's not too big of a deal. All we have to do here is, well, first I should tell basically why the magic wand works. The magic wand basically selects a solid color, all of that solid color, depending on what you've set your tolerance to. So if you set it to the highest tolerance, it's going to be tolerant to all the colors and it's going to select everything. But if you go with the lower tolerance, it's only going to select that particular shade or color that you've selected. So if you go with this black here, and we set the flood mode here, to global, it's only going to select that particular shade of black. It's not going to select this shade because it's only going with that shade of black. Set it something a little higher, you can see there it selected more shades of black because it's more tolerant. So, and this little global trick here is a huge lifesaver when you're deleting the background image, the background white space. I mean, I found that this way you just click on the white stuff that you don't want to have, you set that flood mode 
to global, and then you're going to delay all your white stuff. So if that's an awesome trick there, it's a huge time saver. So now anyways, enough rambling about that. We're gonna, you're going to want to click on the select rectangle select, and then just click on the image. This way it's not selecting anything, and this way you can actually edit the whole image. Now all we have to do is be sure, let's zoom in a little more here. Yeah, zoom in at that. Ah, forgetting what's zoomed and what's not. So all we have to do is make sure that your image has a complete background to it, a complete border, I should say. And then from there, then we're just going to fill it with a solid color. So we're going to give it this gray and dump. Then we wanna set, we're going to want to set this dump here to unin anti-aliased. And this way it's going to give us the, the nice pixel look to it. Oh, whoops. We set our tolerance to high, did we? Okay, yeah, we got to go with lower tolerance. Oh, whoops, we're in glo global. Whoops, we got to change that here to continuous, which is only going to select the section before it sees a border. So there we go. So now that's, I think that's everything. Right, oh, there we go. Missed one right there. So we just have to do the same thing for that. So again, add a dot there and there. Not great. It doesn't really matter. It's going to look the same. There we go. Now that, and then I fill it with the color you want. Then if you save it, control save. Okay, good to go. Alright, and it's just going to save a second. Now you can close out of paint.net. So we just have to go to the codes. Went back too far. And we're going to load up Julie's Bunny game. So I, re I realized that in the game there's a high score function. That's right here. And I was cutting off with my head. So that was kind of annoying. So it's an awesome function. So this way it's going to remember what your high score is. So pretty cool function that I wanted to show you. Right, Julie? Yeah. Yeah, alright. So now you can see that it's 100% functional without that annoying white background. So it looks like how it should look, except there's like a little dot there, which is easy enough to fix it now. So no white background here. It's looking awesome. So I hope this was a help to you guys. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video on how to delete the background on an image. And again, you can use these images for Java, for Python, for C++, anything you want. This is just how to delete it. And we're just, for this particular example, we're just using Python. So anyways, be sure you leave a like before you leave and if we guys help you out and you guys enjoy what we do be sure to subscribe as well i'll be seeing you tomorrow whenever tech news breaks march your money out and julie the rabbit bouncing away we can do this i'm feeling confident this round okay dodge the blocks don't get by the flaming and don't roast the rabbit <laughs> got it okay dodge that 27 we're doing good <laughs> I, I can't win this